Hey everybody, it's Patty at Press with Patty, and this is my weekly check-in for the last week, which was week two in January. So let's just take a quick look. We spent a lot on groceries, so going forward for week three and week four, it's going to be very minimal of what we're spending. So this is my seven by nine, Erin Condren, and in this, uh, in this one, I, in this planner, sorry. In this planner, I keep track of what we spend on a daily basis with budget stickers. When we have no spend days, which we had four right in a row, usually all our spending is done on the weekend, maybe like most people, but as far as like dining out, groceries, we tend to do that Saturdays and Sundays. And then during the week, and I have been very good at meal planning and um, just different ideas of meal planning so that we're not spending money um, Monday through Thursday. So I just want to go over with you what we spent from January 6th to today, January 12th. I anticipate no spending today, so I already put a no spend sticker on that. Um, but so let's take a quick look here. So again, last weekend, we every Friday night we go out to dinner with, it's called, you know, family, um, family dinner. So kind of pick a different restaurant and, um, you know, we go. Grace really loves going out to eat. So it's a fun time. So last um, Friday we went to, for Thai food and it was $70, which we paid cash. So I'm also, besides the different colored budget stickers, I'm also putting different colored dots for what account it came out of. So cash came out of cash. I mean, dinner Friday came out of cash. So it's a brown dot. Then when you see the this, um, you know, like, a, uh, what color, like greenish blue, it comes out of my personal account, which my personal account money pays most of the variables, credit card payments, and um, any sinking or savings challenge funds. So that's kind of why you see a lot of those purple. And then any fixed bills will be dotted with a bright pink. So Saturday we had dinner out, um, I mean, Friday we had dinner out, sorry, sheesh. Saturday we had groceries of $42.64, also uh, groceries of $178.95. I'm looking at this and I just added my check-in, weekly check-in, and I don't think I, I think I did forget to put that $42.64 in there. Well, we'll see. So $178.95 from Trader Joe's. Um, and Aldi's, that was both of them together. And then we also did 4264 um, Shaw's Saturday night. We also did a uh, dinner for the two of us. We were supposed to go out and use a gift card, but we couldn't get into any of the restaurants. So we ended up at Longhorn and it was 44.98. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, we just got an appetizer, a couple appetizers and a soup. Um, and then we also, oh, had gas. Got gas for, one of the cars Saturday, so that was 40.01. Sunday, I had some household pickup at Walgreens for 13. Groceries, eggs. Yeah, eggs. Okay, so eggs is just $6.49. God, I think I'm kind of confused here. Uh, 6 40, 49. Okay, so it's 49, 13 total. Okay. Um, then Sunday, we went to breakfast for 20. This is an automatic pay, so we don't really count. We, we pump, count that as a credit card pay, but not as part of weekly spending. So Monday was a no-spend day. This Jeep um, gas was $30, and that was actually bought on Sunday. I just didn't have enough room. So we do try to fill up the cars or at least put $30 or $40 in them on a weekly basis. So Tuesday the 10th was also a no-spend. Wednesday was a no spend. Now for me, you know, even though there's, you know, budget um, trackers here, like budget stickers, a no spend is when you don't spend anything that day other than what's already coming out. Obviously the mortgage is due on the 11th and car insurance was actually already paid for in December and I'm glad I did that. So Wednesday really was a no spend because no, uh, uh, no cash or we didn't put any out any other money. Okay, so that was a no spend. And then today, we're anticipating a no spend as well. We have um, dinner leftovers, so we don't need to buy anything else. 
and my husband gets paid today so i will be doing a family budget uh video as well so i think all in all the only really big things that we spent money on was the groceries so i'm gonna add up again what we spent total in groceries I, because i think i got it wrong um, yeah, okay so 228.08 last weekend yeah that's just a little crazy i don't like that so then we go here to the weekly check-in Sorry if that moved there. So I want to make sure that I have 228. All right, so 228 total, 228.08. And that came all out of my account. Okay, so we, yeah. So minus 265.55. Yeah, okay, okay, so that's right. So we have 37.47 left because we budgeted $350. Now, I, I know 350 sounds really low for a family of two and a half. Um, it's, you know, it is a family. We have a family of three, but, you know, I don't count Grace's eating or my eating as, like, you know, a lot. So it, it kind of balances out. But we do, on top of the... Oh, I'm really sorry. I keep yawning. On top of the 350, you know, we do do budget... Um, we do do butcher box. And we just got a butcher box in December with, you know, ground beef and sausage and steaks. So we don't need to buy meats. And, and for me, I think that the butcher box, you know, really saves us in grocery, um, you know, weekly and on a monthly basis. So, I mean, yes, there is two weeks left in the month. And I say groceries, I, I did roll over that thirty-seven forty-seven. Will we go over it? You know, absolutely. We, we, we probably will, which means I just have to up that three fifty to maybe four four twenty-five. But we might not because, like I said, for next week I'm going to meal plan, and um, we're actually my husband and I are away this weekend, which I will talk about in the video that I do my paycheck, uh, which I'll do tonight, and post that tomorrow morning, and then I'll do the family budget tomorrow and post that Saturday morning. Um, but so we really won't have to buy any groceries for Friday, Saturday or Sunday. So anything that we might need for next week might just be half and half and um, creamer. I don't even think I anticipate that I'm going to need creamer. We definitely going to need milk and salad because I've been taking a salad every day um, for work, you know, for lunch. So we might still, you know, we might still be okay in that thirty-seven forty-seven. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but, you know, that's the whole point of budgeting, right? I mean, I'm not going to go out grocery shopping just because I want a plan for our groceries next week. And if my husband needs half and half, and I know I'm going to need salad mix, you know, milk and milk for our smoothie. So we get Fair Life milk. It's probably about four bucks. The salad is probably another, you know, three and then his half and half. So we might spend another $15. The fourth week, you know, give or take, we might have to get a couple more groceries. But again, our, our freezer and our pantry, and I, I know I've been saying this for months, you've, hear, you've heard me say this for months, is full. And we really just need to take advantage of our cabinets and the food that we have and really try to stick within the budget. And that's, you know, that's a goal in itself. I know it's hard, but it's a goal in itself. So... So total here for groceries for week two, we spent $228.08. We have $37.47 left. For dine out, we spent a total of uh, $134.98. Um, you know, and that's we try to use cash for dine out, but we did have a debit there. So $134.98 is the total. We have $215.07 left. Gas. We spent $70, and so then we have $189.99 left. Household, we spent $13. So we have $101 left, and then we had nothing in miscellaneous. So uh, going into week three, I mean, we have $37.47 groceries, dine out $215, gas $189, household $101. So we're doing good in all our budgets here except for the groceries but let's let's stay positive and say that i'm not gonna go over 37 dollars i mean because honestly there's no need to okay so that's my weekly check-in here 
transaction log is strictly for fixed uh, bills. So that's my transaction log in the seven by nine, keeping track of it there. But I also did track it here uh, to show you like kind of when it, you know, when it was spent. So this was week two. Um, this was the January 6th payment, uh, paycheck, sorry. Uh, so we had 1082.60, that's actual. We budgeted 1082.60, that's exactly what we got. The cushion was 250. Uh, we didn't pay anything on the Lowe's card, and then I paid $100 on my PayPal credit. And then for envelopes, again, we really had only, um, I think we only had budgeted groceries like at 60 bucks uh, with a $20, ca $20 cash rollover. I even think we used some of that because we bought the eggs with the cash. So we totaled $178.95, right? I mean, is that right? Oh my gosh. Right. Sometimes going back and forth like this, you can see I think it's a little bit more than that, right? Um, just a second. Uh, uh, 22808. So let's fix that because yeah, let's just see white out. Gotta love white out. 22808. I don't know if anybody else's white out gets stuck like this, but it's annoying. So I'm just gonna put it underneath. So for the week last week, we spent two twenty eight oh eight in groceries. I do like to go to Trader Joe's once a month, so that's always like a little bit more. And just you know, kind of like have to budget maybe a little bit more for Trader Joe's. So then Dino, we budgeted fifty, and again we went way overboard on that. We spent one thirty four ninety eight. Um, but then again this weekend, we're using a gift card for dinner tomorrow night, and then we're not going to breakfast on Sunday because we have a birthday party. So. You know, I mean, so for the weeks that we spend, you know, double what we're supposed to, on the following week, we're not going to go out to eat, kind of, or we're going to use a gift card. So, it, it, that is high, and trust me, I do think that's high, um, but where we're not spending it this week, then I think it's okay. Gas, we budgeted 60, we spent 70.03. Um, household, I just put here 13.07. Child care, we budgeted 80, we spent 50, so there you go. And then... Personally, spending, um, I budgeted 15 and I spent 50. And that was just for a savings uh, challenge. The 52-week challenge, which was a dollar last week. And then $10 toward the word that my husband and I both do together. So for sinking funds last week, I had the C and the U in my word focus for the month, which was $24. I did put $24 aside. My monthly challenge, um, I was going to put $30 for March, but I actually already have that, so I didn't put anything in there. Five for five is five sinking funds for $5 each, and I'm going to do that every week regardless of where I am financially. Um, so I put $25 aside for that. And then for my closed envelope and my husband's closed envelope, I budgeted 25 but I put 10 And I think I'm going to just try to put $10 um, every week when I do put money in that those, account, those closed envelopes because... It's not like we're buying clothes right now. We're just going to try to stockpile these envelopes so that when we're, you know, when we need clothes for spring or for summer, et cetera, you know, we have extra money to do that. So I think $10 a week is, is fine for, um, for that, for that clothes. And then the only other thing that we did last week also is an automatic transfer to Alley account, which is $50. And we did that as well. I went ahead and I tracked our spending here out of my account and I color coordinate color coordinate that what that what that is and then now I'm also keeping track of where we spend cash so that was it for the week I think we did pretty well I mean yes the groceries is high and the dine out was higher um, but going into this week which I'll get paid today uh, count it as tomorrow and um, I will do that budget video for you tonight so that uh, it'll be out tomorrow morning. So let's just update my meal plan here. Uh, I've been trying to keep track, but as you can see, it's Thursday. And so tonight is definitely gonna be leftovers. Last night I made a recipe from Pinterest. So I'm gonna put on here Pinterest, just so I know where I got it from. And it was really good cheeseburger pie. 
It's just ground hamburg with some onion and cheese and relish and ketchup. Mix it all together. And then I put it on top of the crescent rolls. You can put the crescent rolls on top of it. So I'm going to put big smiley face because we really liked it. Uh, Monday. So, yeah. Monday I made beef stew and it was disgusting. I don't know if it was the cut of meat, but it was very chewy. So I'm going to put a yay negative. Um a yucky smiley face on that so we know that it was gross and then we had leftovers on monday tuesday um of the beef stew but obviously we didn't eat it because we didn't like it so i think it was like a free for all it was more on your own was definitely more monday because um i i don't know i had nachos i think my husband had something so whatever and then so then today is the leftovers of the cheeseburger pie that we really liked. And then tomorrow is family dinner. And we're going to a local Italian restaurant. And we have a gift card. So I'm going to put that there. And we're going to go out early. Grace has the day off, so we'll probably go out at 4. Uh, actually, I think I have 4.30 reservations. And I know that seems early, but, you know, go to dinner. You enjoy yourself. And then we come home and... It's bath time, etc. So Gary and I are going away Saturday to Sunday again. Like for me, that really happens. Like we usually go out, we go we usually go overnight once a year. Um, usually, and it's usually my birthday. Last year, we were able to get someone to watch Grace for my husband's birthday because he turned the big big six zero. Um, so that was twice last year. That's great, right? I mean, this is just when I say we go out. It's just him and I. When we go out overnight, we never go out overnight. But um, this weekend, we did have a friend who um, offered. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that in my upcoming video for, um, try, you know, um, my new paycheck for this week. Because it's kind of interesting where when you start budgeting and you start planning, um, you don't you don't want to use money frivolously. So come back and watch that video that will be up tomorrow. And um, yeah, so and Sunday we have a birthday party at like 11. So we can't go to breakfast. You know, we're not going to go to breakfast at, at our usual place. We're not going to spend any money there. Um, and that's about it. So what I have to do is, as you can see, I have to meal plan for next week because we want to stay on this um path of really just buying dinner out on Friday as a family and then going out to breakfast on Sunday. Even Saturdays, you really just want to be able to, um, actually this was dinner out, so I'm going to put that up here. We, we're going to use a gift card at dinner workout. Longhorn. So there you have it. There's my weekly check-in. I think we did okay and I hope your week is going uh, well as well. Come back tomorrow morning and I will have our my budget plan for the money that I get and goes into my account. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye now.